clutch just really hard. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting clutch. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like really, it's quite short, do you not think? Short? Sure. Well, there's not there, is there? Clutch is like, doesn't move very far. It's like you put your foot on it and go, oh, okay, I'm not sort of ball. Like, yeah, weird. But well, then wait till, you, wait till you let the clutch out. <laughs> that's weird. Well, that's a supercar. Oh, it's at the top. <laughs> <laughs> going to be interesting. <laughs> Wowzers. Morning Dom. Morning. Morning you lot. Morning. You're watching the two fuels. So, uh, <clears throat> what are we in today Dom? Royalty. 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 Is French royalty. French royalty. What are we in? We're in a Renault V6 Clio mid-engine supercar. Because that's what it is. It's, it's bonkers. It's mental. It's properly, properly mental. So uh, let's go and take it out on the road, and then we'll have a little, uh, a little chat about this bonkers car. See what it's, <laughs> see what it's got. Um, crikey, this thing's still working. Fifteen years old, it's still working. No, no, no. It doesn't work. It just appears to. Work. Oh, is it just? <laughs> yeah. The screen works, but nothing behind it. It's French. So, uh, yeah, Clio V6 lent to us by our friend Chris. Yep, thank you Chris. Thanks Chris, he's on uh, Instagram, we will tag him, Chris uh, V6255, strangely. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who'd have believed it? Uh, so we're in, a, we're in a V6 with 255 brake. So where's, the, uh, where's the engine? Well, uh, this, is, this is where the French went a bit bonkers. Uh, this is where we think, to coin Dom's phrase of, uh, they've been sniffing glue. I think they had a meeting and then like somebody dropped a tab or something and went let's do something wild and then this let's take, let's take a let's take a front wheel drive <laughs> city car which is essentially what a, a Clio is yep. and then what we'll do with it is we'll um, we'll make it rear wheel drive uh, we'll put a three litre engine in it we'll put the engine in the back yep. uh, we'll lower it we'll make it a lot wider and off you pop but when you get inside it, and I know we're sort of flipping between it, it's back into normal. Oh, it's a clear. When you get inside, it's a, it's a clear 100%. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's as you say, it's kind of car royalty. Not quite a supercar, but it's as bonkers as a supercar. Oh, I think it is car royalty. Because I think there's less of these than what there is. I mean, what's this? There's, there's a plaque in the inside of it. It's, um, Number 64 or 94, I think it says there. 94, so we, we were looking last night, there was just over 1300 originally made, yeah. weren't there? Yeah. So I don't know how many are left because these have got a um, they've got a reputation for <laughs> spinning. Well, well they're, they're in the top five on ditchfinder.com. Nothing, <laughs> nothing to do with the tyres whatsoever, just purely the fact that. It's purely to do with the fact there's quite a lot of weight sitting behind you. Yeah, there is. And um, it can catch you out. Yeah, phase two. Obviously, this is a. Built by Renault themselves, Indeed, unlike, yeah, yeah, unlike yeah, the Phase yeah, 1s which yeah. were built in Sweden, strangely yeah, enough. Yeah. Very, 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 yeah, 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 very strange. Um, Casual stereotyping again, but <laughs> yeah. So let's have a look on the uh, outside of it. I mean, it, not being funny, if, you, if you're watching our channel, you're into cars. You, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And if you don't know what a Clio V6 looks like... Shame on you. You're obviously just listening to the audio tracks because you're blind. <laughs> um, but. Let's start with the outside of this car, but you can't miss it. It's just got a massive wide body slapped on it. it it's just why everything's they've just gone like let's just make it pumped up and um, it's like it's been on steroids. I mean, it's the uh, front ends. You can, you can still tell it's a Clio. Yeah. It's got the Clio lights. It's got it's and got the, the Clio and, look. And, and the Renault badge. And the Renault badge. Nothing gets past you, does it, Doc? Look up all this man. And then it's just got these massive flared. In fact, everything's flared. There's Everything. no. There's no flared arches on this, the whole thing's just wide flared. body in it. Yeah, it's um, I think you notice when you're getting in, there's a massive sill down the side that you've got to step over to get in. There is. Um, it's got big scoops down the side, air intakes. Yeah, are they real? I'd like to think just a generation with an engine back there, <laughs> most definitely they are, yes. Um, it's got, I think it's got 18 inch wheels on this. I think it has, yeah. Staggered setup. Fat ass wheels on the back, so that's um, fat ass wheels. At we'll the get back. we'll get Dom to do his tire specs. Yeah, in a we'll bit. do the tire specs in a bit. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if the speed lines on this. We were on the previous gen. I'm not quite sure, but they suit the car. And again, I like the fact that Chris has kept this. You've got to keep things like this original. Tweak him a little bit, but he's got to, you've got to keep this looking original. I don't, I don't, otherwise, I don't see any reason to 
to modify this whatsoever. It's just <laughs> I agree. that. It's, it's that not. It's not unique, obviously, but it is. I mean, there are so few of them out there that, and the value of them's just gone mental. Like, well, they were like twenty-seven grand new, I think, something like they were saying. <laughs> you've got your money's worth out of it if you've got one of these, haven't you? 50, 60 grand? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're going that way. It's a bonkers looking thing on the outside. Uh, you get around the back end of it, I mean, uh, we've been following it a bit today while Chris has been driving as well. Yeah. It's just, it's a bit mental on the road, isn't it? It looks good. It's good. It has good presence, sits well, you know what I mean? It just looks right. You know? Twin pipes? Yeah, twin pipes. Not very big though, are they? No, they're not. But when again, you look period correct, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Plus, we've been, in, we've been in Jap cars for the last couple of weeks, so. Whoa. Yeah, a bit too much. Yeah. I'll tell you what is quite strange. The doors, when you open the door, yeah. the handle is sat... Supercar style. Inside. Yeah, under the horns, yeah, yeah. And uh, apparently, according to Chris, if you pull the skin off it, there is a normal Clio door on the inside. <laughs> really? Yeah. He said there's just a normal Clio door. They're just like literally built okay. this. Built this like plastic thing. I thought there, there was a Ferrari Testarossa kind of underneath it, it's under there to get into it. No, it's, it's really good. So yeah, so yeah, an original clear door. That's all weird out there. The back end, yeah, they've got a little reef spoiler on. It, I don't know. It just, it just looks cool. It's squat. It's cool. So I'm talking about being squat. It's about 60, 70 millimeters lower than a. It's quite a lot that than the normal Clio. And the natural fact we were both saying this morning, it's a low car on it when you walk up to it. Yeah, it is really low. It's, it is really, really low. And it's in spunky blue, which is now come to know as any, any car any car that's blue on our channel is, is spunky, spunky blue, yeah? Blue, yeah. yeah, it's a nice shade of spunky blue as well. So well again it's a it's a classic Renault colour, so um it, Do we know uh, what the colour is called? Suits it, yeah, spunky blue. Spunky blue. <laughs> the wide body kind of part of it is I don't know, there's various rumours as to why they did it, but it's it, the strongest one is harking back to the 80s Renault 5 turbo rally car. Right. They'd be built with yeah. the big old, with the big old fat arches. Not quite the Renault 5 Turbo Raider that I had back in the day. You had a Raider? Yeah. yeah. Same colour as this? Uh, it's a bit darker than this. The Raiders. Oh, okay. a bit of a darker blue. He had a Raider. That was a bit of a mental car. I was wanted a Raider. I had a 205 GTI. Well, I had one of those as well. Yeah, and they were good. I think the 205 was a better driver's car. The Renault 5 just wanted to kill you because it had a 1.4 litre engine and a massive turbo and the turbo was either on or off and I'm sure we've discussed this before, it was generally on halfway around the corner which made it a little bit mm, interesting to drive yeah. shall we say. Back I'm not sure whether this, um, so it's going to bring us around onto the interior in a minute but I don't know whether it's going to pick up on camera or not, it has got a standard French rattle in it. It has got a standard French rattle, it has. Which I think you just kind of get, you go, oh it's French, it's fine. Yeah, correct. Um, so we're just going to have a little blast up and down one of our favourite little roads and then Dom's going to jump in and give us his, uh, his expert opinion. Well, I'm excited. Yeah? I am, I'm excited. This is like, you know, you're talking. I mean, when these came out, they were like, well, you, you, wow. Yeah, they were mega. And they still are mega. I'm like you. Chris, Chris was telling us on the way up how everyone's like wavered and taking photos and stopping to have a chat and everything because you just don't really see them, do you? And I think most people would go, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, yeah. oh, it's a Renault Clio, and they're like, yeah, yeah, what is it? And you're like, no, no, it's a Renault Clio. Absolutely. Back to the inside, it is 90s Renault. Well, that's the thing, you jump inside it, it's a Renault Clio. Uh, you know, everything, everything is standard. It's just a Renault Clio, it's back to a bit of French plastics. It's got a few little colour flashes in here, which are quite nice, I like that. Yeah, a little bit of blue there, with um, excited, isn't it? There is no um, adaptive suspension there's no adaptive cruise control there's no little driving modes it's listen get in it drive it and have some fun have you turned the uh, have you turned the traction control off yeah, i don't think it has traction on it does it there's no traction no i don't think it does oh wow is this i'm glad you told me that i don't think <laughs> i don't think don't think it has no. traction control on it wow is so no traction control it has got the original cd in, inside it, it CD is. Place. it's all standard but no it's it. it's it's uh Standard French phone. So yeah, inside it's uh, I mean it's a big steering wheel actually. It's quite a big steering wheel. It's what's, nice. what's, what's the girth it's like? Quite nice. You know what? It's it's before they start getting giddy with wheels. Yeah. It's uh, it's really quite nice. So yeah, I like this. Um, I mean it's a, it's an old school dash, but it's nice and easy to read. There's no fancy bits on there to distract you. It's just nice. Seating position for me is pretty good. Super sport seats in it, I think. See, this is weird. Why did they put these seats in this car when they had the really, really nice Recaros that they could have put in? Maybe it's a bit more luxury they wanted to put in. 
We always get to the nice bit of road and I always get stuck behind people, you ever know it? Just get into this pottery. You know, you know that when we, we talk about this all the time, I'll just slow down and let this car get ahead. And when you slow down I'm thinking you're going at 20 and they've gone like not very far. Boring. Get out of the way. So yeah, um steering wheel's nice, I like it. Nice little um nice little blue strip at the top. That might be an extra addition by Chris. I don't know, I feel like it's been retrimmed this wheel. Oh, I think that's, that's I think it's standard. Oh no, I'm not. I'm actually I'm looking at it now. Really, stitching yeah. looks like really stitching nice. Stitching looks really it? nice. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. Yeah, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no Frenchman stitch that and all that. Yeah, I think this has been retrimmed. <laughs> it's, very, it's a very nice wheel. Seat position's great, seats are great. I'm like, why they didn't quite put the ones out of the trophy in it, I don't know, but they're nice seats. Yeah. Alcantara in them. Uh, turning circle while we're just getting to this bit here. Um, uh, this is notoriously bad. So we've had to take an extra wide line round here. And only just got round, that was it, wow, full lock there. That is an interesting turn of seven. Um, for me, clutch is very high. Gearbox is good. And oh, it pulls well. It, it, it screams this. Uh, Chris has told me you have, to, you have to get it up into the revs. I'm not going to go too giddy because again, it's not our car. No traction control. There's no traction there. There must it. be traction control. I don't sure. know, and it's notorious. It's notorious for going backwards around things. And that was the phase ones, though, weren't it? The phase twos were a little bit better than the phase ones by all accounts. I think the key on this is uh, slow in, fast out. Oh, I tell you what, that's good fun. That screams all the way. Look at that. All the way up to 60. Viva la Mexico. All the way up to 60. That's bonkers. You've got to, it just revs and revs and revs. That's like seven and a half thousand before you sort of. It's just like what? It's great. So yeah, 255 brake wasn't the most potent. In actual fact, when you looked at the trophy that it came out with, it wasn't really much faster than the trophy due to the weight of this sign here. Yeah. They, they sort of put a bit of mass on, didn't they, with the um, with the rather large engine that they looked in the back. But oh, but, wow. it's, but it's exciting. And yeah. you've got all and you've got all that noise about sat back there going, "Whoa, come on!" It'd be interesting on the motorway. Whoa. Oh yeah, yeah. No, don't think it's a commuter car. So, um, but yeah. So let's just I'll pull up here, Dom. We'll swap over. You can jump in and uh, give us your thoughts on the Clio yeah. V6. Right, Dom's going to hop in. And uh, let's see what happens. Electric seats? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, driver position so you can save. No? Yeah, yeah. There's memory button there, number one. <laughs> memory one? Memory one. Okay. So yeah, Dom's in now. So we'll just run through again quickly. 255 brake, 221 pound feet at all, 0 to 60 in 5.8 seconds. Oh, that's an interesting clutch. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like really, it's quite short, do you not think? Sure. Oh, there's, no, there's no there, is there? It's like you put your foot on it and go, oh, right, okay, that's at the bottom. That's yeah. weird. But then wait till, you, wait till you let the clutch <laughs> out. Oh. oh, it's at the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, How yeah. high is that to let your clutch out? Oh, yeah, that's interesting. So how's it feeling, Dom, initial reaction? The steering's quite light. I like it. It's very direct, but I think that I think they've become very a bit numb to steering because obviously everybody's ruined steering racks now we're going electric so obviously this being a full oldie worldy hydraulic rack it feels really good and I think this is getting back to we've discussed again sort of like you know 15 20 year old cars max that you can go and have some good fun at without being stupid speeds but you can enjoy the driving because you've got that full theatre of it all. It's definitely got plenty of theatre, it has. It's, um, Needs a few more pops and bangs out the exhaust. Whoa. Oh, he's going a little bit. It needs some pops and bangs, you think? I think so, yeah. It, it, I must admit, it's, that's the theatre element, I guess, that is missing. It's, uh, it's got a quiet exhaust, hasn't well, it? Yeah, it has, but it still sounds, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. No, it's good. Not many buttons on the steering wheel, Dom. This was the start, weren't it? That was it? the start of it. We started with two and look what happened. Uh, see what Dom's reaction is to the turning circle now. See what he can do here. There you go, just got round there, Dom. 
That's an interesting turning circle. It's a big circle, isn't it? Be good fun in Stelvio. No, 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 it won't be good fun in Stelvio. We had a guy on one of the trips, uh, took a clear, we had to do a three point turn at every corner on Stelvio Pass. 48 corners on the way up, good fun that. Anyway, I'll shut up while Dom enjoys himself. So there, about, let's, let's, let's relive my youth. This is a weekend play car, isn't it? You're not going to be commuting any, but to go out on a sunny, sunny yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sat Saturday or Sunday, early morning, dry roads, empty roads, you could have some good fun in this. No, that's good, that. Yeah, Renault, Renault did well. They did all right, didn't they? They did well. Even though they were all smacked off the tits when they did it. <laughs> 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 That's what you're going for, is it? <laughs> they just stayed that way until they built them and then what happened? I don't know. So yeah, I think there's plenty of performance in this. For what it is. There's enough. There's, there's, no, there's more than... No, have, we, have, we no. all, have we all got a bit giddy that, you know, 0 to 60 in less than six seconds is pretty fast, isn't it? Yeah, there's a, they're enough. And I think that, I think because it's older and it's rawer and there's not as much sound deadening and there's not as much weight to it and it's just, it feels... It feels right. It does, it feels right. It pulls pretty well that, you know. That's got, that's got in our uncontrolled environment with a non-professional, untrained French race driver. <laughs> 0 to 16, 7.2 seconds. That's which I think is a pretty reasonable for bearing in mind it's not our car. No, I don't And think we're not going to spank it and destroy it. No. And it's quite an exciting little 0 to 60, that. Feels more than. It does, I agree. I think that's right, that. I think it's, I think it's brilliant. So, you mentioned earlier that um, there weren't masses of these made and sold. Which is hardly surprising, it's not the most practical of cars, is it? You're not really going to buy and go, I can daily this. Because you can't. Unless you're taking a sandwich box to work with you, and that's <laughs> it, right? Because um, all of the boot, except for we've established maybe a shoe box or a sandwich box, is, uh, is taken up with the engine. Yeah. Um, there's, um, there's a fruit, or a frunk, whatever you want to call it, I like the word fruit, actually. What, what, where's fruit come from? Uh, it's a front boot. Yeah? That's just weird. So, uh, the fruit has got some storage space. Obviously, there's no engine in there. However, if you look carefully, it's all plastic lined, and there's a hole in the bottom. Do you know why there's a hole in the bottom? I do, actually. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's not waterproof, is it, in there? No! It's so, like weird, isn't it? So we've built, we've, built, we've built a bigger space for you to put things in, but don't put anything in that you actually want to use, wear or keep. <laughs> Unless it's coated in plastic. Oh, we've missed the storage space here. There's a cargo net. Can you get a small child to lie down behind there? <laughs> yeah. What, a three month old? If you've got a sausage dog, you'd be all right. You can get a sausage dog in there. Um, you might get, a, I'll tell you what you would get there. You'd get your bag of oranges in there, we talk about. And because there's a cargo net, it's not coming through. Yeah? Is that because it's French? It is French. Are yeah, you not yeah. even going to get in there? That's one thing I've seen about this. So a lack of storage space is, um, as this is a car that you might take to a track, there's nowhere to put your crash helmet or down the passenger seat so you can't take a friend with you to the track. Well, you're not going in the front? Possibly if you want a wet head. <laughs> Waterproof bag, maybe. We'll, we'll have a look at we'll have a look. Well, would you want to take this on a wet track day? Oh, I wouldn't want to take it on a wet track day, no. Um, good point, yeah. Um, yeah, the fruit, I don't know. We'll have a look at the fruit, the frunk, fruit. That's what this is for, I've just worked it out. Onions. Baguettes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the right shape to get two or three fresh baguettes in there, that's what it is. Also, coming back to the um, baguette holder there, 
you'll, you'll notice how they positioned it close to the engine to keep the freshly vapor gets warm for when you get out. That's exactly what that is, so no one else has worked out. That is a baguette holder. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's what's into gearbox, not? Gearbox is all right. Very low that. geared. Well, yeah, because I were in six. I didn't believe you when you were in six, but yeah, you were in six. You know what? It pulls well from like low rep, which I'm hey, quite I surprised at. Yeah, I do agree. But I think you get used to like that that bottom rev range in turbo cars where there's just nothing there. Yeah. And it's like blah 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 blah. And, like, whereas this is obviously because it's a naturally aspirated 24 valve V6, it pulls quite nicely from from it nothing. Does. But I like the gearbox. Is, it, it's really good once you get used to it. I'm like you, fourth and six. You think, yeah. You think six is fourth. You, you're cool with it. That's another thing, actually. While we're while we're going to look for somewhere to just turn around quickly. Suspension on this is pretty good. Suspension is really good. It is. It's for, right. for a 15 year old car on these roads that are notoriously That's, bumpy. Yeah. This is tied to be really, really well. I think this is better than most modern cars we've driven. I think it's on stock suspension. Um, I believe so. Yeah. Chris will be able to. Uh, confirm that for us when we, uh, we catch up with it again. But yeah, I think this handles really, really well. Bump and grind, coming up. Yeah. Coming up. Hey, that's good. That's, that's good, isn't it? That's good, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think the, the, the handling and comfort in this car, for how low it is, right, and, the, and the mass that's in here, and that's not me and you, Dom, that's the lump in the back, I think it's doing really, really well. I'm impressed with it. I am. Yeah, um, build quality wise, I've no rattle, but. It's 15 year old, it's not going to be, you know. I've had, I've had five year old French cars that have rattled more than this. Yeah, no. In all fairness, you rattle more than this. <laughs> no? Tire size is done, I did have a quick look for you. We've got 205 40 18s on the front, 245 40 18s on the back. Well, you, you go on about meeting heroes and you should never do them and all that, but I think doing your heroes is fantastic. You know? I, I, do you know what? This car has actually been really, really good fun today. Um, it's been a great drive. Uh, it's got plenty of power. It looks the part. So I guess that brings us on to, would, Dom, would you own this car? Yeah. <laughs> you would? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Wow, it's mega. It's like literally, yeah. I would as well this week. It's, uh, I'm, I'm kind of not really wanting to go back into all the cars, but this this is a fun car. This is, it looks cool. It drives really well. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. To, to reel this out of your garage on a Saturday morning, you'd be like excited. I would be anyway. Yeah, I'd enjoy this. It would be good. He, he, did, he did well buying this and he should never, ever, ever, ever sell it. But if he wants to, I'll give him 20 grand for it. <laughs> Would you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So very generous, yeah. Dom. <laughs> this is a mega car, so yeah, I'd, I'd, um, I'd say if you've got the chance to own one, go for it. Absolutely, yeah. Marvellous. Super bit of kit. So, thanks for watching another edition of the Two Fuels. I hope you enjoyed the Clio V6 video. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please like the video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. If you, if you don't like the video, please like it. Yeah, if you don't like it, like <laughs> it. If you have subscribed, pull your friends into subscribing. And uh, ring the bell for updates on uh, future videos that are coming out. And thanks very much for watching the video, most appreciated. Looks like he's got a Knight Rider helmet on, doesn't he? Did, did a little, little, little. I don't know what he's doing. For all your kids that don't know Knight Rider, can you look? <laughs> Um, it's got a good knob, Dom. Has not it? Smooth. Nice, nice little knob it's in your hand, yeah? Smooth, man. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's been well used. Yeah. Did you see, uh, see Throttle House's new video, by the way? Which one? Uh, M3 versus E92 M3. Uh, yes. I think they've been watching our videos, the way they started that video off about, oh, it's long and hard. Yeah, your mum said that last night. <laughs> see that? <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. God damn it. Stolen what we're doing. If that is true, throttle us. Can you give us a shout, please? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>